Yesterday we got the trailer for the Shadow Society event and this universal heirloom was revealed, but I think a lot of people aren't realising truly what this means for Apex, and if you don't have an heirloom for your main yet, you might be a bit disappointed. But let's start this story around one or two weeks ago when it was revealed by a few data miners and stuff that Respawn are kind of moving away from normal legend heirlooms to focus on a new set of universal heirlooms. Which is kind of weird to the average Apex player, but unfortunately makes a lot of sense and it was almost kind of confirmed with the Shadow Society event. First of all, it's been two seasons since we've had an original heirloom. The last legend oriented heirloom we had was back in season 18 with the Fuse Guitar heirloom and we've not had one since then. Also, another piece of evidence that really helps this rumour is the fact that on the new Shadow Society blog, Respawn described these as Apex artifacts, which are an all new type of universal melee cosmetic. So Apex artifacts are clearly going to be almost a new series of heirlooms that can be used on any legend. Let's not forget also that Respawn are slowing down legend releases which makes it really hard to make constantly new heirlooms and the only remaining legends who need unique heirlooms are currently some of the most low pick legends in the game such as Vantage, Newcastle and Catalyst. So in EA and Respawn's head when they've already been struggling with earning money making heirlooms for these legends is useless when they can make an heirloom for every legend. And these universal heirlooms definitely work because if we go back to the EA investors call they did say that their two highest earning days of the year were during the Final Fantasy event, which introduced Universal Heirlooms with the Final Fantasy Sword. And also, there's a weird point about these. I don't think these are going to go into the Mythic Store. I think they're going to operate exactly the same as the Final Fantasy Sword, so basically, when the event ends, you can no longer obtain this Mythic, giving it a giant aspect of FOMO, fear of missing out, forcing a lot more people to buy it. There were rumours that these were going to have customizable parts, much like the Fade Heirloom from Apex Legends Mobile, and honestly, this this is still on the table. Clearly, this certain heirloom doesn't have customizable parts, but the current rumor is the rest of the heirlooms in the series will be very similar to this heirloom and you can interchange parts out between them, which could be an interesting concept, but once again, we'll have to wait and see to how it is in game when we get our hands on it. Also, to those asking, can I get this for free? Yes, there is a potential you can get this for free. Respawn are selling event packs in the rewards shop for a currency that you can earn by completing challenges, but you have to get very lucky in these packs, as in literally 1% lucky. So it's very unlikely that you will get this for free, but there's a chance. Also, as we know from the Final Fantasy event, the first few packs in this event are really, really cheap. And some of the first ones are honestly just worth buying because they cost like 100 Apex coins. You can't really go wrong. And then the price slowly increases. So I'm probably going to buy the first few packs, put it in a video, show you guys, and then you make your decisions from there if you want to buy more packs. Honestly, I'm not buying all 36 items in this. It's just too much for this. But what do you think about Legend Heirlooms basically being discontinued for Universal Heirlooms? Are you going to buy it? And subscribe.